Hey, hi, boysies, what is up? Hey, hi, how you doing? Jake here. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the Dead Mouse song animation he does for Marcos and stuff in Cinema 4D. But if you haven't seen it, I got it right here so you'll know what we're doing so you're not confused. So yeah, uh, I got it right here, see, right there. And I'll let you guys watch it for a couple seconds so you know actually what the fuck we're doing. Dick dick. So I think you guys get the point. Uh, it's going to be flickering with the beat of the song. So yeah, we're going to open up Sim 4D. I already have it open because I'm where I was working on some. Yeah, we can close it. Uh, just create a new project. And we're going to grab a sphere. And we're going to crank that segment up just because I like my spheres nice and smooth. I like my women's legs. Sorry, I'm a little horny. Um, yeah, we're going to take our sphere and just duplicate it twice. And we're going to take it and shrink it down to like 20. That should be good. Uh, and then we're just gonna, uh, we'll make this bigger so we can see. Why, where, oh, my mouse is like disappearing. This is, this is stupid. Um, we're just gonna drag this over here, like that-ish. And we're gonna deselect one of them and drag that over there. And now, if we go like this, we select both of them and we drag them up. Um, we should have some eyes and then have a pretty sexy man like this. Um, so yeah, let's get with the materialing. Is that a word? Materialing? Oh, okay. Um, we're just gonna double click down here, create a new material. Uh, I think in the video he uses a light gray, but you know what? Let's be rebels. Use dark gray just because we roll like that and we're going to drag that there and now for the eye material neon-ish stuff we're going to make a new material and we're going to make this any color we want I'm going to use green because green is nice and we are going to check luminance and we're going to make a green that is kind of dark around there and we're going to do texture for now and we're going to make this multiply and we're going to change this so that this is a kind of darkish gray and this is white and this is going to be like like that and yeah and then we're going to go into leave specular checked and go into glow and we're going to check that and the strength will be 70 and outer strength will be 50 and we're going to make this radius like 7 that should be fine and we're going to exit out of that and we're going to drag our material onto the wall god my, I hate my mouse so much and we're going to drag fuck oh my god sorry I'm having mouse problems I'm hoping to get a new one soon but I'm just having to live with it for now. Um, if you're lazy and you don't want to make your own material, uh, there actually is a pre-made neon material. If you go into Window and Content Browser, um, I'm on it right now, but I'll show you how to get there because you're probably confused. Go to Presets, go down to Visualize, then go to Materials, go to miscellane Miscellaneous, and then Neon Blue and Neon Orange will be there. And you can choose whatever one you want. You can make them into other colors. Uh, yeah. So those are there for your pleasure. Now let's get on with the actual animating. So we are going to click on this QBN, make a null, and we are going to right click on it, go to Cinema 4D Tags and Expresso Vibrate. Uh, we're going to minimize that for now. And we're going to go into MoGraph, Effector, Sound, and you're going to go into here where it says Sound File and click here to grab a song. I'm just going to use this because it's already up. Um, it has to be an MP3 for you to use it in Cinema 4D because Cinema 4D is just a bitch like that. So yeah, that's kind of annoying, but you could just convert it to MP3 for 
the purposes of using it in Sim 40. So yeah, oh my throat hurts. Um, so we're just gonna click that, and we, if you just scroll through the timeline, you can see that it starts playing and stuff. We're gonna make this like a lot bigger so we can view more of the song. And we're just gonna go. And if you go into start offset, and if you drag this down, it'll offset where it starts a song. So I'm gonna go like way down here. And let's see, is this a good part of the song? Yeah, that's fine. Um, so now we're gonna go back into Expresso. Ow. And we're gonna drag our sound into there. And we're also gonna drag our material into there. And we're gonna put the material off to here. And make this a little bigger. Same with our sound. All right, now we're gonna right click, go into New Node, Expresso, General, go into result put that up there and then we're gonna go again to new node motion graphics sample and now go in your sound right click on this red square which is the output and you're gonna click on that go to object then go into your material uh, click on the blue square which is the input go into luminance luminance brightness um, okay Go to click it again, go into color, brightness, and so now we're just gonna connect the dots. Yeah, I know I heard you. Um, sorry. Um, go into object on the sound, connect that to effector. No, connect, there you go. Uh, and then on, oh, I forgot on sample, click on the output and go to strength, and go drag that to brightness, luminance, brightness and on result. Now if you close that and we play it should animate. Yeah, so that's basically it. Um, it's not exactly like the um, Morgos and whatever but if you can amplify it to make it more profound when it goes from the uh, brightness changing uh, if you made this go down to around there then that would be very nice so uh, that's basically it um, hope you guys found this helpful just a little something I found I thought you guys would be interested in if not Fuck you. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. If you don't like it, I don't care. Probably not. Uh, I'll leave it. But yeah, that's probably a bad way to leave it. I'm sorry. You need a hug here.